few weeks ago, our lovely product team has made uh, ZenPay apps publicly available to all of our customers and our users. This is extremely exciting for me, and I wanted to take this opportunity to walk you to ZenPay apps and introduce you uh, to the concept and show you how it can actually help you um, get create a destination for your process, uh, get insight into your what's happening in the process. And also enable your users to interact with the process based on their role and uh, based on the data they need to see. So um, as you can see on the left hand side, if you click on the apps um, menu, it brings you to here. Here you can go uh, have a look at the list of the apps that uh, are available to you. You can create a new app by clicking in the new button. But today I'm going to walk you to the accounts payable app. The app which I've already created, uh, I want to walk you through it and also we make some changes to it so you can see how easy it is to actually create and use these apps. Um, uh, this app is powered by uh, Zenfi table. The data you see visualized here are coming from mainly from this Zenfi table. Uh, you can bring data from multiple Zenfi tables, but we've got a table called supplier invoices. The idea is that this is our um, invoice process in an account payable application and we want to provide, as I say, a destination for everyone in the company to come and see the data which is relevant to them. To them. And um, you are in charge of deciding what is important in your process to visualize and what kind of interactions you want to make available to your uh, employees. Like, for example, here, we I have gone ahead and created a few pages these are what we call pages so first page is a dashboard i'm just uh, displaying the data here number of invoices by cost center a uh, few metrics here around num total number of invoices waiting to be approved and total number of invoices to be uh, scheduled for payment down here i can see all number of the um, invoices there are a few things I wanted to highlight here. Um, there is cross filtering available. So if I just want to see the invoices from our, uh, this cost center, I click on it and it auto filters everything. Also, I can go and add filter at a page level filter from here. It's quite easy. I say, you know, um, for example, go and show me all the invoices which are more than, um, say, Hundred dollars, so it uh, would be um, a page level filter. It's going to filter everything on a page. You can also add more filters. You know, you can uh, more, uh, combine multiple page filters depending on what you need. So um, on top of that, you, you've got a free text search here. For example, if I go and search for um, Adam, um, it's gonna it's gonna filter everything. Uh, basically, you search across all the data you've got and filters everything based on Adam, and it does a, does a cross filter as well. Um, so each one of these is uh, what we call them a widget. So we've got a chart widget here and a different kind of widget down here. Uh, most of them are interactive. For example, here, if I want to uh, take an action on each one of the individual uh, rows here, invoices in our case, I can easily click on here. I can edit the record because I have enabled uh, our users to be able to do that, and that's based on the role. I can also run different Zenfi flows for this uh, on on this specific um, record. For example, if I wanna, this is the invoice uh, from Apple. If I wanna say, for example, cancel invoice, I can easily click on this one, and it's gonna a sort of Zenfi flow, which um, which is gonna have some logic to cancel this flow, or if I wanna, for example, send it back to supplier, the same thing. I've created a, a Zenfi flow behind the scene, which I'm gonna show you, which is gonna run uh, on this specific um, row. Um, on top of that, I can go and I can uh, look at the details of the uh, invoice. This is another page um, in Zenfi we have designed. ZenP app we have designed. I'm going to show you this as well. So, which is you can visualize more information plus uh, cross ref, uh, cross match data from other tables and show uh, show them here as well. 
Um, and you've got different type of types of widget. I'm just going to quickly click through this one. For example, we've created a, a page for the um, cost center owner to see which are the invoices um, uh, waiting for him or her to be approved. They can come here quickly, act on them. You can create different views. You can have Kanban views and charts, and you can have a calendar view as well uh, down here. If I go down here, you can have a calendar view. Can decide how you want to visualize data on the calendar. For example, if I come here, I can see these other invoices due on this date. And this is totally up to you to decide uh, how you want to present this. Also, you can have, like, as a um, head of finance, you want to see what's the SLA um, for the cost center owners to respond to invoices. And you can visualize them and drill down uh, to each page as well. Now, uh, for today, um, what I want to show you, maybe we have already got this uh, waiting on me um, page. I want to show you how you can create um, that page as well, uh, so you can see how easy it is. So for that, um, I'm going to go click on the app settings. And here I see a list of apps, of, uh, pages I've already created. I can drag and drop them and rearrange them. And then I can also create detailed uh, view page. So there are two types of pages. One is a normal page, as you can see, which uh, can add multiple widgets. One is a detailed page where you can actually um, uh, visualize the detailed information about the specific uh, uh, record type. I'm going to create a new page by clicking on that page. I uh, call it my task, which is another name for waiting on me. I'll give it a color, select an icon, and press create. And we've created a page. The next thing is to go and customize the page by adding new widget to the page. You can add widget by clicking on this blue button. And these are the widgets you can select from. You can uh, select a series chart, uh, pie chart, great, Kanban view, uh, a list. Um, a list view of the uh, collection of data, calendar view, metric, uh, gauge view, or um, web, which, which enables you to embed information uh, and uh, display those ones. For example, if you've got a document you want to visualize, you can do that. New pie chart. Say, um, my uh, task by supplier. So I'm going to add a data source. Um, you can visualize, as I said, you can visualize data from multiple uh, lengthy tables. I select the supplier invoices. And from here, it's just easy configurations. You know, uh, this is going to be supplier. And which column? Supplier name, let's say, shows top, let's say, 15. And I can also add a sort if I wanted to. And for the size, say, Number of invoices. So you go get the invoice ID, can uh, unit count, and that's pretty much it from there. And I can select a color palette, which is which I would like, which suits um, well for me. There's more configurations you can do. Um, also, if I need to add uh, conditions here, I will add it. Actually, I will. I need to add a condition here because I only want to see the invoices which I need to approve. That means the cost center owner uh, equals to, I can hard code an email address or I can select the um, email address of the currently logged in user. So I can do that. Uh, and there's one more condition I want to add. And um, there's a column called a status, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Status. Uh, status equals to CC owner approval. So basically, these are all the everything waiting for me to approve. I save it. I can position it here. I can move it. I can use different kind of positioning. At the moment, I'm going to use fix. And one more thing I want to add, and that's the um, a grid. Um, so I can see a list of them as well. I call them my tasks. Uh, the same thing, just a configuration. I go to software invoices, save, and I select the columns I want to show. Say invoice number, 
just a few few columns I select here I can decide whether the user can uh, add edit or delete this record I just enable edit um, and then a similar thing I'm gonna add a condition here a few conditions actually so first condition would be a uh, cost center owner email address equals to the currently logged in user and um, that right here and say status equals to CC owner approval and that's pretty much it you know I'm gonna press save uh, actually one more thing I want to show you is that you can add action buttons here that's uh, like if you want to enable users to take specific actions on each one of these rows and the way it works you can uh, say what's the action I want to see the um, uh, say let's I want to run a flow on this one and I can select uh, the flows which are created for this um, a specific record uh, record type I want to say for example go and say cancel invoice and I give it a name cancel invoice you can select a color as well I'll add another one and uh, this one is going to be view invoice detail and that one is going to take me to detail page and it upgraded one detail page before I'm going to select that press save I'm going to expand this to the page actually I'm going to say you know go and auto fit the, the whole thing now that's pretty much all I need to do I can add more um more rigid to this page but I'm happy with what what it is let's have a look as you can see if I go back to the apps um, I've got my tasks down here and it shows up and shows me all the tasks I've got the action buttons here for example I can say cancel invoice I'm just gonna run um, a flow a Zen fee flow behind the scene which I've configured before you know uh, if I show you the I like cancel invoice uh, flow this flow you can run this flow on this specific um, um, record I'm not gonna do that or if I want to see the detail I can say detail view that view is also customizable so if I go back to the app setting here is the view I've created and it's quite easy to customize as well like the other ones you now this page you can add different widget as well but um, you can customize this view you know add uh, decide what you want to visualize from the invoice detail you can add many and more detail and also enable taking actions as in like enable editing and deleting so uh, it says editable if I turn it off um, so the user would not be able to edit uh, this record anymore so if I go back to um, back to the page, go to my task, and go to your invoice detail, I wouldn't be able to edit it. And this is also how I have visualized the status, you know, uh, of the in, of the invoice. Um, so there are different ways of uh, visualization as well. So um, as you can see, it's really easy to create uh, pages you know and then I uh, take really meaningful actions in uh, provide meaningful data depending on who is actually interacting with uh, uh, this page I also want to highlight that you can embed uh, external documents uh, as a on a page as well let's go actually and create a new page I'm gonna add a new page and this page I'm gonna Call instructions instructions so say these are the instruction or manual to use the this the process I just give it as is what I can do I can come here and add a web um, web widget for example let's get a Google Docs document to um, pretend that it's our um, so let's say pretend this is our um, accounts payable manual 
I'm gonna go get a sharing link, copy the link, uh, come back um, here, and paste it here. And all I wanna do is that actually say preview. Save. And I'm gonna go and say you know fit and save. So now um, users are uh, employees coming to the to this process to this app. They can also see the any instructions we may have, and that the instruction can be a live document living on your Google Drive, so you can keep updating it. It automatically gets updated. Hopefully, I've managed to show you how easy. Uh, it is to create really powerful and meaningful uh, destination for your processes as apps. And so, yeah, uh, give it a go and uh, let us know if you've got any feedback and suggestions. Thank you very, very much and have a great day.